Hey guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add Facebook Connect to your Jom Social site. Uh, in this tutorial we're using Joomla 3.1 and we're using Jom Social 3. So first thing I'm going to do is log into my admin area. And we want to go to Components, Jom Social, and then Configuration. Now this is the front end of the site. Uh, I'm actually using the register page as the landing page uh, so it's quite customized but it's basically it just looks different it's basically the, the same programming we have the um, the name and, and email and password fields when we activate jump uh, I'm sorry when we activate Facebook connect we should get a little Facebook button so what we need to do is once we're in the configuration, you want to click on Facebook Connect on the left hand side here. If you're using Joomla 2.5 or an earlier version of Jom Social, uh, this might be at the top, but you just want to find um, Facebook Connect. Now, we can't just enable it, we have to actually create an app in Facebook, and then we have to input the Facebook API key as well as the application secret. So I'm going to go to Facebook and you might need to register as a developer. Um, I did this quite a while ago so I'm not exactly sure the steps to um, be able to create an app but I know it's pretty easy. But once you've done that you want to just go to you want to go to developers.facebook.com and click on apps up here at the top and what we want to do is create a new app and I'm gonna call this uh, responder zone login because responder zone I'm sorry responders zone is the name of the website you can call your app anything you want uh, that's the actual name this will be the namespace um, this we don't really need this because this isn't going to be a canvas app um, but I'll just do it anyway and that has to be lowercase uh, I believe you can use an underscore and that's it um, app category we'll say um, I'm just going to keep it on other and I'm not going to click the web hosting option and we just click continue we need to do the security check so now our app is created um, let's see uh, I'm not sure I don't think we need to enter you do I think need to enter the domain so I'm going to put in my domain I think that's all we need we don't need website with face actually yes we do website with Facebook login so you want to put your URL here so I believe we need the HTTP okay now app on Facebook we don't need uh, we don't need anything else so that should be good so if we click save changes okay so now we have our app ID and our app secret so all we need to do now is grab these and put them into our configuration and you can always reset your app secret which is basically works like a password alright so you can choose different options here if you want to import Facebook profiles on the site for a sign up um, watermarks on avatars I'm just gonna leave everything as yes and that looks good so now if we save and close and it says configuration updated so now if we go to the front end and reload we now have a Facebook login button. 
Um, obviously, I'm going to have to uh, style this a little bit because it's right on top of the other, but you get the idea. You can click on it. Uh, it'll ask to access your public profile, and then you can do what you want with it. So um, this is basically just a, a setup video, so um, you can go on to do whatever you'd like with it. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you can. Thanks.